This is my physical TBR for the month. I'm doing Ghosttober and the Trick or treat -a -son. Uh I'm only doing two this month, partly because I started off with 27 books on my currently reading and now we're up to 29 and I still haven't started any of these so but also I'm hoping to get to this by the end of the month but in order to do that I have had to dig out this this is a book that I started by the way it's for Buddy Reed So I forgot that this is Monday and book group moved to Tuesday, so I'm going to have to start this, um, which means that the readathon books are going to be pushed back again. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is from a British Library collection um, and I wanted to point out that I'm Stone has been edited by someone I know, like we're not friends or anything, but someone I know and it sounds really interesting. I'm on page 55 and I've read two stories. The first was uh, an Edgar Allan Poe one, Ligia, which I wanted to read for a while. I like it. I liked it better, I liked knowing the outline of the story. Um, didn't really like the style of it. The second one was a lot more enjoyable for me. Also this arrived, this is also for book group later in the month. So we've had the first session of book group and I only finished the first three. But it's okay because we've got like four hours until the next one so hopefully I can get through the rest of it. This book arrived today. It is a retelling of Jane Eyre and I think the protagonist is Jewish this time. It's also sapphic if the cover didn't give that away. The last book from the order arrived. Hello from the dark. I have finally managed to drag myself downstairs. Um, we still haven't started on any of the readathon books. I'm still on um, Cornish Horrors. I am a few hours away from completing the Spinning Silver audiobook, so that's good. Um, but I have started. I dragged out my French textbook to try and learn enough to read uh, Le Phantom de l'Opera by the end of the month. I know I'm aiming to read it, not be able to speak it. Um, so yeah, this is just a quick update in that regard. So I managed to relocate myself in here, which was a mistake, and now I am in pain. But there was a live show for uh, the Trick or treat on and I got some reading done, again, not for a book that's part of it, but progress is progress. One of the reasons why I have so many books on my current reading is because when I get stuck, I have a bad habit of saying, what I need to get over this is to start a new book. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, I have this, which is a graphic novel and so should be a quick read and also I brought through The Bone Way which is for a readathon. I'm not sure which one it is uh, but it's also relatively short and the text is not small so uh, yeah also it is by Nyx Publishing and I've never had a bad experience with any of their books so yeah, hopefully this doesn't make it that much worse. 
Well, it worked insofar as I finished it pretty quickly. Uh, I think half an hour or so. Uh, and then I read an entire story here. And I think that is all the reading I'm going to be doing uh, for now. But yeah, uh, that really helped, actually. I am surprised. This was a story which was kinda sweet and faintly ridiculous. I am probably going to finish Spinning Silver tomorrow, but I've also been making my way through the Rivers of London and apparently I have the book. I don't know when I got it. Uh, I am preferring the audiobook. I really like the narrator. I'm not sure whether I want to keep the book or not though. Um, for note taking, it's not like a favourite in that way, but I do like urban fantasy and I might like to write it at some point. So, not to need knocking down a peg, but I have read, I have gotten up, I'm doing preparatory work because I haven't started doing any of the, I want to have like all of the exercises written down before I start actually writing them, but yeah. I didn't finish Spinning Silver after all, and I haven't made any progress with The Wife in the Attic, so there's just this. My favourite thing. <laughs> so, uh, just realised that I didn't actually say that I started this, I did really early in the morning, um, got through the first two chapters. It is interesting. It is a Jane Eyre retelling but it's also another book and I can't remember what the other book is and I haven't read it. Uh, which might be why it wasn't like immediately recognisable to me as a Jane Eyre retelling. Uh, but yeah, interesting. They're really going in on the fire thing though, so... So I got to the two book groups just fine. I did, however, almost fall asleep during the first one, which bodes well for tomorrow. Because we're going to Ikea <laughs> and I need to get up early for it. I did not finish the book to no one's surprise. I think I'm on chapter four, maybe five. Um, I might give it a bit more of a push, but I think I'm gonna just try and get to sleep at this point. There is a story, to be totally fortunate, that is about 130 pages and I'm 20% of the way through, so maybe I will see if I can finish that. Also, I'm really sorry, I know the camera has been very shaky. Um, I don't know why my grip has been so tenuous lately. Hopefully it's not permanent shaky hands, but... It is 50 past 11 and I finally finished Spinning Silver and it's perfection. I love it so much. I... Oh, I love it. <laughs> I was faffing around and I found this in my room and I can read it, the introduction. I can read it and I understood most of it, which is really exciting because I'm still just copying the exercises down in the textbook. But, you know, 
this bodes well uh, so I'm excited for that but also I um, I'm going to start on the readathons with The Bone Way which is a sapphic or facing Eurydice retelling by uh, Nyx Publishing which is my favourite one of my favourite publishers it's an indie and it's by Holly G Underhill so yeah excited about that so it's past six o'clock I have been asleep the entire time the sun has been up uh, which you know you pay the price for yesterday Yeah, if I don't fall asleep again, I am going to try and get the bone way started. Hello, I am going to delete my wrap up for last month. It's too much to go through and film just like a clip. Um, so I'm going to just transcribe it and put it up on my blog. I'm um, also going to be cutting down this vlog. Uh, but things have been getting better. Still having to keep myself up sometimes. Uh, but mostly have not been doing myself as much mischief. So. I have been getting to sleep and that has been lovely uh, and also I finally got back into oof, into my uh, Duolingo account so I have been practicing and that's been great uh, and that's kind of what the focus of this vlog is going to be from now on and kind of a wee bit retroactively as well uh, yeah, and for tonight I'm going to visually read uh, The Dire Days of Willow Weep Manor, I think it's called. Also, I would like to point out, um, while I think I've been getting better, Mum went to get uh, some prescription stuff for me and the pharmacist very nicely um, you know, had noticed that my mum had been in for me for a few times and so made me a care package which I am very grateful for thank you so much <laughs> but also like on the day that I finally feel like I'm turning a corner I'm getting better I get a care package and it just is really funny to me but yes thank you thank you so much Every time. <laughs> it's a little bit haphazard and I'm gonna need to get some blue tack. But I think it looks pretty good. It is almost three in the morning. Uh, Critical Role is about to start campaign three. I'm still on the first one, but we're also going to be doing this in tandem. It seems I'm really excited. I I've been <laughs> I've been binging it while I haven't been well, and it's it's so fun, and I love it. It's also day five of my streak. Uh, we're really doing this. The reading still has been slow going. I have made a little bit more progress. I think I'm like 35 pages into the Bone Way now. Um, which is still good. I am 
<laughs> not as happy with the rivers of London right now. Um, I'm not that well versed with GRT matters, but they had travellers show up and I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. It came off as a wee bit off to me, a wee bit skeevy. Um, like, the series started a few years ago, so I'm like, it's time to improve and I don't know how big like sensitivity readers and all that were back then but yeah it's just it's not very good right now <laughs> so I slept until almost eight because of that and I missed we were supposed to go out and I have completely missed that um <laughs> That is basically the the thing that did it because I had an alarm set and I would have been up. It was a falling back asleep that did me in. But yeah, uh, that first episode was amazing and an offhand comment gave me ammo for something that might turn up in Amber Hold, um, which I'm doing for Nano. So. Otherwise, it's been a great day. <laughs> oh my god, there's been a breakthrough in the case in Rivers, and L Rivers of London and it is... <laughs> oh my god. Finally finished Rivers of London. I really enjoyed it. It picked up towards the end. Uh, the two cases did, you know, they worked out well. Um, in terms of enjoyment, I would say four stars. I'm going to give it three because, like I said, uh, the traveller stuff felt a wee bit scary to me and I didn't entirely like the way the women were written. But I did enjoy it and I'm happy to go on with the series. Um, I am going to go to the Hunger Games audiobook now because I have like nine days left of the audiobook and I can't extend it any further but I will be going on with the series So I guess we slept from about 9 to 9 at minimum it's most have slept in months and I feel better than usual. Um, not just awake, but like present in a way that I'm usually not. So I have actually gotten through about five, just under five hours of Hunger Games. Um, audiobook. I think I was asleep for a little bit of it, <laughs> which is fine. Um, but yeah, I think focus on Duolingo um, just at least to get my daily goal. And that's all I will be doing today. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I did sleep through a little bit with the audiobook, you know, <laughs> we're almost at the part where we... Perfect place to come back in. I we finished uh, a book for one of the readathons, Gothtober, The Bone Way by Holly G. Underhill. It is an incredibly readable book, it's really easy to get through, the writing is nice. Um, I like the relationship between uh, Chris and Tegan, but it wasn't connecting to me, or <laughs> rather I wasn't, you know. It is an Orpheus and Eurydice retelling, but through the Shadow Realm, and I realised that's why it's not working, because I couldn't feel any threat, any danger, I just 
wasn't getting any tension at all. <laughs> it just, you know, they went from one place to another. Good morning. Um, I also finished The Hunger Games yesterday, which was great. Uh, so I've started the Moon Over Soho audiobook, which is book two in Rivers of London. Um, and also, I finally started a Trick or treat song book. It's also for October, and that is The Private Memoir of the Confessions of a Justified Sinner by James Hall. This was, I think, published in 1824, so, you know, it fits the published over 20 years ago prompt. Um, it is theology. It is about antinomianism. Uh, and yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Also, we have a toffee apple in the house, which I'm very excited about. So I have made a deal with myself. I get to eat it if I finish this module on Duolingo today. Still a lot I can't do, but I'm back in the kitchen. So yesterday wasn't really for much, um, and I think today's going to be a bad day. <clears throat> so I'm going to focus on Men Over Soho and hopefully Duolingo. And hopefully tomorrow then I will be well enough to focus on the James Hall book uh, because after that I want to try The Phantom Dover. This beauty arrived. Bodeke Sweeps by Anna Chum. This is a poetry collection from Haunt Publishing. Bodeke Sleeps is amazing, awesome in the old sense of the word, exquisite, and I loved it. It's great, it's gothic and macabre and wonderful. I also finished Moon Over Soho, which not as good or with more glaring issues. I haven't made that much more progress in James Hall, but the goal is to pass the 50 page mark tonight. And I've already hit my Duolingo thing several times over, so hopefully. <laughs> For some reason, transport is the topic that I remember the most of. Uh, I've gotten over 200 XP today. Uh, I'd like to keep going with people as a topic, um, but if I don't get any more today, that's fine. I haven't started The Phantom of the Opera, that's going to be tomorrow. <laughs> actually. Um, but we're making some progress with this and I have it down with me, so... We're on page 33 right now, but I'm going to have to dip out for the night. Happy Halloween! This is a short story by Nicole Reese. Uh, this was also on the TBR and it's about 51 pages, so I'm just going to go for it. One story to Le Monde. Um, nothing is going to get finished. Uh, except for the Nicole Reese one, which if I don't get the 30 something pages finished in the seven or so hours that we have left, there's a real problem. Um, 
I am a little bit sad about that. But I'm kind of coming to terms with it. A lot of health problems and you can't really get around them. So I'm really enjoying is a weird word for um this because I hate them so much. I just hate so many of them. Just but it is also just really interesting from the perspective of its criticisms of religion and the history of the time and just the very narrative premise is like all of that is so interesting I just want to throw so many of them just into a dumpster though but we're having a good time uh, I'm gonna get to my target today for a Duolingo um, but the phantom is not going to be started, unfortunately. Literally just poking at like my Tumblr queue to get the Halloween stuff posted completely oblivious to the fact that it is actually Halloween so I've been <laughs> stoting about outside loud as anything and no one has been answering the door because I'm on my own they probably think we're the right arseholes <laughs> I'm not going to start because I really I cannot be arsed uh, with the whole joke or whatever thing but like Wow.